The lives of victim and killer seem to mirror each other in many ways. Both malnourished babies adopted by loving, prosperous families from orphanages in Pakistan and Honduras. But while Youssef Rasmussen thrived and seemed to befriend everyone, Sophie Negroponte sunk into alcoholism and rage. Right, so right in the back. Their friendship ended in a Rockville carriage house, they'd argue. And all of a sudden, she grabs a knife from the drawer. Yusuf Rasmussen, 24 years old, a college student, had left the get-together, but then came back because he had forgotten his phone. Sophia Negroponte spoke in the third person as she described to 911 what she'd done. There's an altercation, someone was cut, and they're having... Uh, someone was cut? Here. Yes, please. Please send right away. Okay. Yusuf was just trying to find his phone to go home. Jurors convicted Negroponte of second-degree murder. She had testified that it was an accident, that she never intended to kill Rasmussen. Pre-arming yourself with a knife and stabbing someone in the neck is not an accident. Rasmussen's family and friends crowded the courtroom, remembering his joyful life, loyalty, and helping hand. We came here uh, because we were all affected in some way by him and his life. John Negroponte, the killer's father and a former UN ambassador and director of national intelligence, laughed without talking to reporters after the judge sentenced Sophia Negroponte to 35 years, just five years shy of the maximum and well above the sentencing guidelines. He called her a deceptive, anger-filled alcoholic who will someday get out of prison. But he says Yusef Rasmussen will never again see a sunset, swim in the ocean, or hug his mother and father. At the Rockville Courthouse, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.